A series connection is one in which all components are connected along a single path. So in this example over here, we have a battery. Please note the difference here. We know that this is the symbol for a cell and a battery is more than one cell. So if you have a circuit in which that is drawn, that is a cell and then multiple cells make a battery. So in this circuit here, we have a battery that is producing an electric current by pushing charge out and because this is a series connection we can see that that charge and current is forced to follow a fixed path it is forced to first pass through ammeter a1 we know that ammeters must always be connected in series so that they can measure the current it then follows the path along through resistor one which is the three ohm resistor followed by the 5 ohm resistor, followed by the 1 ohm resistor, followed by ammeter A2, followed by the light bulb, and then ammeter A3 back into the battery. That is the fixed path that it follows, and there are no variations allowed. The current may not follow another path. We know that the current would never try to flow through a voltmeter because voltmeters are always connected in parallel because they have a very high resistance which stops the current flowing through there. So we have here a series connection because everything is in a single path which creates a series circuit that forces the current to follow the single path. There are three rules for series circuits. The first is that current is constant in a series circuit. The reason for this is because the current can only follow a single path, there are no options for the current to increase or decrease as it goes a different route. So what we say here is that the current in one place in a circuit, so for example at ammeter A1, will be exactly the same as the current in every other part of that circuit because there is only a fixed path. And the way that we write that would be to say that the current through ammeter A1 is equal to the current through ammeter A2, which is equal to the current through ammeter A3, and that would continue for any ammeter that you place in the circuit. The second rule is that voltage is divided. We know that the battery is providing the electromotive force for the charge to flow around the circuit. We know that essentially the battery is providing energy and that energy must be used up at the resistors in the circuit. So we know that we have four resistors, one, two, three, four, and the energy will be divided amongst those resistors. Not necessarily equally, it depends on the amount of resistance, but we say that the voltage is divided, which essentially tells us that the total voltage provided, in this case our EMF, is equal to the voltage used at each resistor, those being V1, V2, V3, and V4. So we say that voltage is always divided in a series circuit. And finally, the total resistance is in a circuit is added. Because we're saying that the current must pass through every single resistor, that means that the total resistance in a circuit would be equal to the sum of each resistor in that circuit, R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 in this case. It is important to note here that each voltmeter is measuring the voltage across an individual resistor, so it measures the current passing through there, through that resistance. It is also possible to draw a voltmeter that spans two resistors, in which case we know that this voltmeter would be the sum of those two because it is equal to the amount of energy that's used between those two points plus the amount of energy used between those two points. So with these rules for series connections, current is always constant, voltage is divided and resistance is added. You can now use Ohm's law to solve for any unknowns in any series connection that you are given.